everything inside me. When order really starts breaking down in this country, we know exactly what is going to happen. And the reason why we know exactly what is going to happen is, because the exact same pattern keeps playing out every time there is a major disaster or crisis in one of our large cities. Just think about it. Over the past couple of years, violent social justice protests in our major cities have often been accompanied by widespread looting. When the Texas power grid went down last winter, there was looting. When wildfires force people from their expensive homes in California, the looters are often the first people that show up. And just about every time there is some sort of a major storm, the looters come out of the woodwork. And so, it should not surprise anyone that New Orleans is being plagued by looters in the wake of Hurricane Ida. One pair of enterprising looters decided to try to break into an ATM machine, but thanks to a drone they now have become famous all over the country. It is not clear if the pair from the drone video were apprehended or got away with any cash from the ATM machine they are seen in the footage trying to pry open. One of the men in the video is seen toying with a machine. Another stands beside him and sees the drone before turning his back and leaving the destroyed business. The video, which was posted to Twitter by WX Jazzing, Brandon Clement, has yielded 19,100 views, and is captioned, the moment looters realize a drone is watching them try to break into an ATM machine and burn down St. Claude Market in the Lower Ninth Ward. In other cases, looters were taking a more conventional approach. In another incident, witnesses used their cell phone to record several people looting a store in New Orleans East. Looters often take advantage of disasters like Ida, and New Orleans is all too familiar with this as it became a hotbed of criminal activity in the wake of her I King Katrina 16 years ago. How many times have we seen this sort of chaos break out over the past few years? It is more than I can count, that is for sure. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. On Tuesday afternoon, authorities in New Orleans pledged to do their best to try to deter mass looting. New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell and Police Superintendent Sean Ferguson held a press conference Tuesday afternoon at City Hall regarding a citywide curfew to deter mass looting, and an update on the power situation. Antrell told reporters, effective immediately, 8 p.m. local time, a citywide curfew will be enforced until 6 a.m. Wednesday. New Orleans Police Department, NOPD, has deployed an anti-looting task force with National Guard members to protect business districts. Sadly, virtually every major city in America is just one major crisis away from a total breakdown of law and order. And when a truly nightmarish national emergency strikes, law and order will break down all over the country. Our blood-soaked culture has become increasingly violent, as moral standards have deteriorated across our land, and in many of our core urban areas brutal cold-blooded attacks by groups of heartless criminals have become way too common. The particularly vile attack that happened in Chicago the other day is a perfect example of what I am talking about. The video, first posted by the crime website CWB Chicago, initially shows three men beating up another man as traffic crawls past. Another man walks by and is sucker punched and falls to the pavement. The group keeps attacking the other man until both are down on the pavement. The attackers then rummage through their pockets, walking with a bag shoes and other items, the video shows. Women dance in the street while people appear to record the fight. More specifically, the women were twerking as they celebrated the robbing of the innocent victims. If hearts are this cold already, what will things be like when economic conditions get really bad in this country? Yes, there are still millions of Americans out there that try to respect the law but there are also lots and lots of really twisted people out there. 
Thus today, I came across a news story about how hundreds of decapitated goats have been getting dumped into the Chattahoochee River. Channel 2 Action News is investigating headless goats found floating in the Chattahoochee River. Someone has dumped hundreds of decapitated goats over the past few years. Channel 2's Dave Huddleston cruised up the Chattahoochee River with Jason Alseth, who works for the environmental group the Chattahoochee Riverkeeper. More than one person has got to be involved in this terrible crime, because on one recent Friday, a total of 30 decapitated goats were found in the river. As they approach the Interstate 20 bridge near the Fulton County and Cobb County border, there's a goat, also said. Channel 2 found a headless goat in the river, then another, and another. Lately it's become a lot more frequent, and on Friday we were out here and saw 30 of them floating down the river, also said. Why aren't CNN and the other big networks covering this story? You would think that something like this would be good for ratings. Of course, the truth is that it doesn't fit any of the agendas that they are currently trying to push. But without a doubt, we will hear more about the new variant from the major news networks tomorrow, and apparently, all of that fear is starting to cause another major run on toilet paper. Please don't run straight to the supermarket, but some shoppers are buying up all the toilet paper, again. Why is toilet paper always such a high priority when Americans decide that it is time to do some more panic shopping? I will never understand that. In any event, it is being reported that the fear of new lockdowns is causing many to start hoarding toilet paper in bulk. This latest rebound in toilet paper demand comes as cases and deaths up across the US, with some folks foreseeing another lockdown. Many Americans have used up their stockpiles, and some have begun buying again in bulk, the Wall Street Journal reports. If Americans are going to get this crazy over the threat that is now unfolding, what in the world are they going to do when truly apocalyptic events begin to take place? The current situation is not the worst thing that can happen to us. Not even close. If our society can't even handle this crisis, what kind of meltdown would transpire if a much bigger crisis suddenly erupted? You might want to think about that, because many believe that it won't be too long before we actually find out. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.